I have here a ball of clay. It's white and it's bright. I got a ball of clay. Hasn't been painted, hasn't been just a ball of clay in my hands. I wanted to show you today that you are the clay. And this clay can be twisted. This clay can be broken. This clay can be put back together. This clay can be molded and shaped into some kind of uh, base or some kind of cup or a dish. It can be made into anything. See, I want to tell you that God is making you into something. God is using you and you are the clay in his hands. And yes, he may twist you and he may break a little pieces off of you and he may mold you. But all it is, is God is getting you ready to be beautiful, to be able to put, be put on display so that the world can see the work of the potter and the work that he has been doing inside of you, around you, and through you in your life. In Jeremiah 18, one through six, it's the story of the prophet Jeremiah, how God told him, I want you to go down there and watch the potter. I want you to watch the potter form the clay. So Jeremiah went down, but what what stuck out to me in this story is Jeremiah 18 6 says that as the clay was in the potter's hands so are you in my hands so what it let me know is we are the clay and God is the potter and we are in his hands and every single day he's squeezing and he's pressing and he's breaking things off and he's twisting us and he's taking us through new changes and he's taking us through new seasons and we might not understand it but it's not meant for us to understand because see when we look at God as the potter and when we take our role as the clay we are basically telling God we depend on you to make us who we need to be to shape us into who we need to become to mold us into something beautiful that the world can see that you did in our lives that is what God is doing as the potter see the potter shows the sovereignty of God shows that his plans are going to go forth. See, we are just clay. He is the one that molds us. He is the one that makes us great. He is the one that adds on to our anointing. He is the one that will take a situation of ours and flip it for our good. So what you want to do is when he's twisting you and when he's turning you and when he's taking things away and he's breaking things off and he's cutting into you and he's taking the tool and he's etching and he's coming and he's scooping things out of your life that don't need to be in your life. What I want you to understand is say, thank you, God, for being the potter. And thank you that I am the clay and you are molding something in me and around me and for me that is going to be far better than I could ever imagine. I hope you were blessed by this message. Understand that God is the potter and you are the clay. And eventually when he gets done with you, you will be beautiful and on display for the world to see. I decree and declare abundance and favor over your life. Be blessed.